Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the farm. Uh, as I was saying, my last vlog, uh, which I finished about three, four minutes ago, uh, we are going to be working late tonight. We're going to be doing these soybeans. The moisture has thankfully dropped a little bit. Um, and just to the point where we're able to get these harvested. Uh, it's, it's right on the edge of where I'd want to be in order to get these dried. So, uh, so that's the good news. Uh, and we are just going to really crack on through this field. Get these done. Uh, get this in. We are expecting snow overnight. So uh, this really is our last chance to get these soybeans cut. I don't think it's going to take us too long. Um, I don't think we're going to be working too far into the night, but we'll see where we end up here. Uh, to be honest, it's been a long day, and uh, yeah, and just getting these in would be good. You can see the comb here just teasing the tops of these soybeans uh, onto the belt, and that was that was what I was talking about uh, when we were doing the wheat. I think it was. Uh, about uh, how this uh, this header is is much more set up for, or we have this header for the soybeans more than anything else, uh, and that's because if we're not careful with how we drop the soybeans onto our header, we end up with uh, losing soybeans. They just shake out way too early. We kind of want them to to end up shaking out in the thrusher uh, and behind, uh, so that we can contain them better. Uh, whereas at the moment, uh, well, whereas if we are too hard and they drop too heavily and too quickly onto the belt, we find we lose a lot of crop. And you end up with finding them on the ground down here. And you can see here, yeah, not, not seeing any on the, not seeing any in the uh, chaff or the waste. So that's good news. So, uh, yeah, seems to be cutting pretty well. Oh, we've got a few weeds in here. I think we must have missed a couple of bits at the top end of the field. Uh, otherwise, we're good. This corner of the field is a pain, though. We're able to farm quite far into it, but it gets very uneven. Oh, see? We may not be able to get the stuff. We can get into the corner with the plow and the cedar a lot better than the uh, we can with the header on the combine and you can see it's lifting I kind of have to avoid that bump I think this is our first crop that we put on here so yeah I'm not surprised there's a, a, a section of stuff that, that we would not be able to get at because of the roughness of this corner of the field just trying to lift the header and back off right and in there we go yeah not great uh, not a massive yield on this but then this did get planted late so uh, we'll see how much we get to be honest anything is good because it's uh, yeah it was a it was a very late crop that we planted and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. It will be an earlier planting for next year. Um, we've got a lot of seeding to do before the end of the autumn. Wow. Did that go the whole way across? That did. We've got... The automatic leveler on the combine is not liking some of the bumps in this field. We might have to get a uh, some earth moving stuff on, or or it'll just plow out eventually. To be honest, although we won't be plowing this field this year. There we go. Right, so uh, I can, I will continue on, and uh, and we'll see. Uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get before we have a full tank. That would be fairly telling as to how well this field is doing. We're coming back to uh, the bottom end of the field and, uh, and we're on the second headland. We're 93% full. 
so we've got almost two full headlands off here uh, before we've got a full tank oh, that is quite something I was expecting a little bit better yield off here um, but I don't think I should be that surprised uh, we are yeah 12, 12,000 meters off the two headlands uh, we'll see if the main body of the field is any better it's definitely seeing some weeds in here I thought we cleared all the weeds out of this so that's a little bit disappointing but yeah you can see them there and yeah so there's a few patches of them uh, that will that will definitely affect the yield we are full what I'm going to do is I'm bring this back here. And I see my tractor. There it is. Empty out. And then we can just get that little bit left of the uh, headland done. And, uh, and get into the main body of the field. That should empty the combine. Uh, like so. So all go back in. Thresher back on. And down we go. And away we go. Finished off that last little bit. And then we're going to try and cut into this field at this point. Uh, I think we want to try and divide this into two halves, if we can. So looking at this, we want to be going in about here. -ish. I think. Yeah. About here. Line myself up. Down it goes, and away we go. We can actually line ourselves up fairly effectively on our uh, setup there, on that flag. Keep that where it is, and uh, and we'll be pretty good. It's actually a better lineup on that uh, on that tree up there, I think. As we transition from field 29 into field 30, and I think we're much more in the middle of the field than I expected, but that's okay. That's not a problem at all. Pretty straight run that was. Let's have a look here. Uh, we're pretty good. I'm happy with that. 15% uh, to run. Uh, that means we're going to be about six runs, seven runs in order to fill the combine. That should mean that we get this side of the field out in that. Uh, and, uh, and get that covered. Yeah. What we've got... Probably another tank and a half off this field after that headland. So that's uh, that's fairly telling. It is it is not the biggest yield in the world, but uh, it is a test. There are a lot of weeds in this field. I think it's a, a case of uh, I don't think we got the herbicide on here worked properly. To be honest, I think it's. Uh, yeah, I think we ended up with a, a bigger upset to its yield than uh, than I'd have liked. So yeah, it's it's not it's it's you know it's a it's a crop it's a good crop, but it's not the best crop it could be, which is unfortunate. I would like to uh, I'd like to have um, finished my harvest on a high. I think instead we're rushing it before the snow comes well, that's kind of the way it goes sometimes 
By the looks of the width of this, I could have gone over a little bit wider. But it's okay. We're not we're not gonna get as much off here as I thought we were. We are yeah. That was I was being hopeful. Two full tanks, I think, of soybeans off here. Not much more than that. You can see the point, actually, where these two fields meet. There's a drop there where uh, field 30 transitions into field 29. Uh, and I uh, and I came up on it. And you can see, yeah, as you can see from here, look at that drop. And the, the header just wasn't able to lower far enough to, uh, to get that. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go across the field. We'll cut that. Uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll cut the next row there and then we'll uh, as we're going through that row we'll uh, we'll just stop halfway through and uh, try and come at it at a different angle maybe come at it from the bottom I think if we'd uh, if we'd been coming at it from the other direction we'd have been fine so this, this section here, we've got maybe two more cuts to get this done. This is actually a pretty big combine, and it, it handles every field on this farm really well. It's the reason why we haven't upgraded something more modern, um, because it just, yeah, we don't need to. We're, we've, we've got, the, this is the right size combine for these fields. And uh, and yeah, we just don't we just don't need to do it. Look at that drop. You saw the the way that just drops at that point. So let's set up. We'll back it off. We'll come out and around. If we approach this from the other direction, we should be able to get it cut. Yeah, the field just drops away too much. And coming up it though, we can get the header to work. Yeah, it just sailed over the top of it. It was it was, it was absolutely ridiculous to watch. The header just sailed over the top of the soybeans. And I wish I'd realised at the time and I could have shown you guys, but it was, yeah. There was no way that we could get those soybeans uh, from from coming above and down. It just, you saw the, uh, you saw the, the little lip come. Uh, you saw it. Uh, I'm talking and I'm missing my mark. Uh, but you saw it, and the and the soybeans just whistled underneath the header, and then I knew that I wasn't going to get those cut from that direction. Uh, Eighty-three percent, I think, don't have enough space in this combine. Uh, oh no, we said 15% uh, row, didn't we? We should have, we should have exactly the amount of space we need. So uh, now we get to see exactly how well I've judged this. Not bad, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. As long as this doesn't get any wider, we're good. Uh... Is this only going to be another 15% or are we going to get to the end of the field and have just this tiny little bit of soybeans to cut and uh, and have to go all the way down to the bottom end of the field because Chris has, Chris has gone home. I think we might be slightly wider than our header at the moment. Let's give this a try. This is also not an advice. This is not an advisable way to do this. Better way to do this is this. So we'll take half here and we'll cut, and then we know we can easily fit everything in the header on the way back. And we may only be half 
uh, halfway down the field it's other than, uh, instead of the whole way down the field if we get too full. There is no way I think I can get this stuff off this corner. Okay, the self leveler did handle it. You can see how that, that corner is. Yeah. We need to leave a little bit more fallow on that corner when we are uh, replanting this field for next year. 3% left. I think we're going to have just a little bit left in the middle of this field. Because there we go. That is just about a full tank right there. Brush her off. Got my auto unload on that. But it's going to be, yeah, we're not going to be pulling very far forwards. So I'm just going to run back to my uh, to my tractor and bring that over. It is a beautiful evening. Really gorgeous. One of the reasons why I love coming back here. There we go. Round. So I think we'll probably have this trailer about 80% full maybe. By the end of this. There we go. 80% exactly. Wow. That was... Uh, <laughs> that was uh, not quite what I expected. I expect to be wrong. I will admit that. I expect to be wrong. Jump in. Start up our pressure again. And... Away we go. And just put the last few soybeans in. Right. And now we need to get this back to the farm. And we'll uh, we'll be giving this a good wash down and a good clean up. And a service before we put it away. Not that it's uh, too bad. But it, uh, it could do with a once over before we finish you with it for the year. Tends to do that early winter. I can see the bit on that side. Not on that. Yep, there we go. Down there. Let's unhook. Get right in here. There we go. And then drop that off. That is not well on that. line ourselves up a bit better. There we go. That's much better. And then we'll go and take this back to the farm. Park it up. And, uh, and then we'll know that this is... Uh, this is ready in a little bit to uh, to get ready to, to winter it. Over. 
Yeah, everything we have is pretty much the perfect size for this farm as it stands at the moment. We'd have to widen gateways and things like that if we got a bigger combine. So we'll just park this in here for now. Put its head up. There we go. This is the only trouble with it, uh, with it being me working alone at the moment, is that uh, yeah, I've got to run backwards and forwards. Keeps me healthy doing this. But if the farm was much bigger, I wouldn't be able to do it. You don't really want to be running over acres and acres of land. Right, there we go. Start up the little engine that could. get this back as well. Just, ooh, needs to be careful. Ah, oh, really? Doesn't lock down onto here properly. Gonna have to come back with the combine and sort that out in a bit. I think I had I had closed it all up, but yeah, my header has uh, fallen off my trailer. Those trailer those trailers are rubbish. They're supposed to uh, you're supposed to be able to put headers onto them and not have to strap them down for short journeys like that. I hear that class have perfected the uh, perfected that a little bit better. But I'll need to bring the combine back over because I've got nothing else to lift that with. Not all clear. Put my headlights on. It's getting harder and harder to see at the moment. And bring it up. And tip it. And we tip sideways in here because there's just not enough space to, uh, to tip up straight. Tipping sideways, I need to be careful I don't hit the edge either. We're good. We're in a good position. Yes, that's why we have a long grain grate here, is that we uh, we need to be able to tip this fairly large trailer sideways. Um, because it's just it's just not at all enough or not open enough for us to uh, to tip it any other way. Uh, but this trailer needs a clean as well, so we'll we'll just park this here. I am going to go and get the combine and take it back out there. Oh, let's turn the lights off. There we go. I'm going to go and take the combine, take it back out there and sort that header out. Uh, but this is where I'm going to end the vlog. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye